Hello folks. Today I'm going to be doing some more testing and comparison with the IC Graphite Thermal Pad versus Paste. Uh, but this one will be a bit different and hopefully it'll provide some interesting results. One of the stated benefits of the Thermal Pad is longevity. Uh, it won't dry out and degrade like Thermal Paste, so your performance shouldn't go down over time. There has been testing and anecdotal reports comparing the Thermal Pad to freshly applied paste. And the Graphite Thermal Pad generally tends to fall a bit short on cooling compared to good paste. But will that remain true if compared to old paste? What I have here is a computer I built just over three years ago. Uh, the CPU cooler has never been removed since it was first installed with Arctic MX4 paste. The cooler is a Hyper 212 Evo, and the CPU is an i7-4790. So first, I'm going to run IDA64 on the computer as it sits right now, with three-year-old paste, and we'll see what temps I get. Then I'm going to pull the cooler off, clean off the old paste, and reinstall the cooler with the graphite pad. Then I'll run IDA64 again and see what, if any, difference we get in temperatures. And after that, I'm going to pull the thermal pad back out, reinstall the cooler with fresh MX4 paste from my recently purchased tube, and I'll see how that compares to the other results. All right, so I finished the testing. I did have the case side panel in place during the tests. I also had a temp probe measuring the ambient air at the air inlet in the front of the case. The ambient temp was consistent within plus or minus a tenth of a degree for all the testing. When I removed the cooler after the first test with the three-year-old paste, I found it had good coverage. Uh, the old paste was much stiffer than new paste, more like a thick putty than a paste, but it wasn't totally hardened or dried out. I made a simple chart to show the results. I took the numbers for the chart 10 minutes into each stress test. In each test, the temp stabilized quickly and the peak temps reached didn't really change after about three to five minutes into the tests, uh, so 10 minutes was enough to get good numbers. Uh, temps also quickly fell to stable idle temperatures when the test was ended, and all three setups had virtually the same idle temp with cores bouncing around 31 to 33 degrees C. The temp readings fluctuated a few degrees on each core during the tests, but for the chart I listed the highest max temp reached on an individual core, and the average of the max temps reached on each core. The chart visually exaggerates the results, but we are talking about very small differences between all the tests. The three-year-old MX4 still performs very well. Uh, obviously three years isn't enough age to cause any problems. With the highest max temp reached on any core of 61 degrees, and the average of all the peaks coming in at only 60 degrees. Next I tested the IC Graphite pad, and the peak temp was one degree higher at 62 degrees, and the average peak was 61.4 degrees. The temps were slightly more consistent across the cores compared to either of the tests with paste. Finally, the new paste did the best, but not by much. It had the same peak temp on a single core as the old paste at 61 degrees, uh, but a couple of cores had lower peak temps overall, so the average was 59.4 degrees. So, seems with MX4 paste, a bit over three years' time isn't enough to cause any issues. Uh, it was still working fine and was close enough to the new paste to call performance as good as new after three years. Uh, it's possible that other brands or types of paste will degrade faster, but with MX4 there certainly isn't anything to worry about for at least a few years. The IC Graphite pad was only about 1-2 to two degrees away from the performance of the new or old MX4 paste, so ultimately this testing didn't encourage or dissuade me from using it in place of paste. Um, on the one hand, longevity doesn't seem to be an issue for at least a few years with good paste, so that alone isn't a super compelling reason for me to use the pad for most builds. Uh, on the other hand, my testing continues to show that the performance of the thermal pad is pretty close to the paste I use, so I'd have no worries using it. Uh, if I come across any other situations where I can do an old versus new paste comparison with something other than MX4, uh, or out of a hotter application or a harsh, harsher situation where the paste may have degraded faster, uh, maybe I'll revisit this, but for now my opinion on the IC Graphite pad remains unchanged. It doesn't quite match the performance of good paste within reasonable lifespans, but it's also good enough to use if uh, the other benefits of a pad versus paste are appealing, or if a particular application does have issue with paste drying out or degrading due to conditions, the paste used, or whatever. So that's it. Uh, if you have any questions or if there's anything else you want me to try with a the thermal pad, let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching. Take care.